This video will review the second section of Chapter 7, entitled, What is the Structure of Earth's Atmosphere? So for this section, you should have written a set of notes starting on page 171 um, that will list four facts, two diagrams, including the reference table and a summary of this section. So Earth's atmosphere is divided into four major layers. Those layers are listed here on the reference table as the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. The separation of those layers is divided by, based on the temperatures that occur within those layers. So if you were to leave the ground and rise straight up into the atmosphere, you will experience a temperature drop. So this first line here shows the temperature going from 15 degrees down to negative 55, so it is getting colder. As you rise through the stratosphere and you record the temperature, this area here, the temperature begins to warm. So the trend is different. Traveling back now through the mesosphere, this area here, the temperature drops from zero down to our the coldest part of the atmosphere at negative 90. So this area here is colder as you get higher. And the upper layer here, the thermosphere, the temperature rises very quickly as you are, um, in a lot of definitions, you are in space and the full sun's energy uh, can hit you and causes extreme temperatures. So the concept overall is that as you rise to the atmosphere, there's changes in the way the temperature is measured. Those create uh, pauses in the temperature, so that's why the boundaries here are labeled as pauses. So the uh, main idea, different layers of the Earth separated by changes in their temperature. Along the, the left side we have a scale. Uh, please be mindful that one side is measuring in miles, so all these numbers here are miles. Please don't confuse them with the opposite side of the chart, which are kilometers. In addition, the mile side counts by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and the kilometer side counts by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So please be mindful of your scale as you are uh, using this chart to determine elevations of different layers. So here's another way of looking at those layers. It does put in some, some features you may find uh, where shooting stars burn up here, uh, where you'd find most satellites up in this, uh, the upper layers of the thermosphere. Um, you would notice that all plants, mountains, all weather takes place down here in the troposphere. The ozone layer, which is not technically a layer of the atmosphere by itself, is found within the stratosphere. And uh, this is another way of looking at the Earth's layers. So then we uh, talked in class about the uh, jumper here who uh, entered a balloon, rose up into the upper levels of the stratosphere, and then skydived down from an altitude of 25 feet, which puts him in the stratosphere. Definitely not in space, clearly in the Earth's atmosphere. And on a globe of the Earth, if we were in our classroom, that jump would be only one millimeter above the surface of that globe. So that he was in a lot of ways very high, but in a lot of ways not as high as you would think. So here's another way of looking at, at this, um, at the Earth's atmosphere. So if we start this little animation game here, we can turn on and off several kind of everyday items. We have where airplanes fly down here. You can turn on and off the, sh the layer names. You can show how the air pressure changes, uh, decreasing by almost a power of 10 as it gets higher and higher. Here are the different elevations. It's the same content you'd find on the reference table. So overall, Earth's atmosphere has four layers. Those layers are separated by, def uh, defined by differences in their temperature. All weather is found in the troposphere. We live in the troposphere and use your reference tables to determine facts like height, 
temperature, pressure, uh, and water content of the atmosphere. So this was section number two of chapter seven, covering objective two on your sheet. Hope this helps you, and I'll see you in class.